Woo! No scope triple. Alright, yo guys, what's going on? It's Sword Rage, and welcome back to some more Call of Duty 4. So here for today's video, we are back once again on the annual COD 4 SL server. And as you all can tell by the title, I attempted to go for a custom sniper clip cycle, basically trying to hit a clip with every single sniper on the server. Now, granted, keep in mind, not every clip I was trying to hit were, like, Taj-worthy clips, just something passable, okay? I call it a challenge because it's a challenge for me. You guys will also hear me talk more about it throughout the course of the video, but uh, real quick before I jump into the video, though, I just quickly wanted to say, seriously, thank you guys so much for the insane support on my recent COD 4 video where I did the 2v2 clip race with Sammy, James, and Reese. Seriously, that video just did stupid well. I mean, like, as of right now, it's almost at, like, 8,000 views with, like, 800 or so likes last time I looked at it, and I just really cannot thank you guys enough. For as dorky as this may sound, like, it, it makes me feel so good being able to still post Call of Duty 4 after all of these years, and you guys just keep killing it with the support. It just means so much to me being able to post my favorite game of all time and just get such insane support for it. So really, guys, seriously, thank you guys so much. And now, one more thing before we jump into the actual video. If you guys guys already have the mod installed and you guys know how to connect to the server feel free to go ahead and skip to the timestamp on screen right now because I wanted to go ahead and make a short tutorial for those of you guys that want to join this server and don't know how for the past month or so that I've been streaming this I have been getting countless questions on how do I join this server and I feel like I'm consistently explaining this so I figured I would just throw it into a video here first thing that I want to mention is that this is on Steam COD 4 this is not like an IW4X type of client when you first get COD 4 on Steam you'll more than likely be on like 1.82 or 18.2 it's going to be some like 1.8 something and it's this new Activision version that was released a couple of years ago and you have to change out the multiplayer exe to connect into these custom servers otherwise you're going to be on a completely different protocol version and it will tell you that when you try to join a server if i'm not mistaken it's like you'll be on protocol version 1.7 when the one you need to be on is 1.6 so the first thing that you guys are going to want to go ahead and do is go ahead and check out the links that i've left in the description below and download all of them i have left the iw3 mp that you will need the user maps and the custom sniper mod itself so so once you have all of those downloaded and put onto your desktop, what you're going to go ahead and do is go to your COD 4 directory, wherever you installed Call of Duty 4 to, whether it be on your SSD, your hard drive, it's going to be in Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Call of Duty 4. The first thing that you guys are going to want to go ahead and do is delete whatever IW3 MP file is already in there and then replace it with the one that you just downloaded. That's going to downgrade it from 1.8 to 1.7. Next thing that you guys will go ahead and do is take your user maps and just drop it right here into the directory. What the user maps is, is all of the custom maps so far, or at least all of the ones that I have for the mod. It's going to save you guys a whole lot of time because once you guys are in the SL server, if you haven't played a specific custom map, you're going to have to download it and sometimes it takes really long. And now this last step is optional. I mean, the file size isn't very big, but uh, if you want to go ahead and just download the mod outright so you don't have to worry about that when you're trying to connect to the server for the first time, go ahead and drop the Custom Snipers V2 folder into the mods folder right here. So now if you check in the lower right hand corner, you should be on version 1.7. Now to get to version 1.9, what you're going to go ahead and do is open up your console by hitting the tilde key, type slash connect, and then type in the IP 178331521 colon 28958. Hit enter and join into C4S. Now again, for the first time, it'll say setting up game and for me it's going to load into a uh, back lot here in just one second again though if it is your first time connecting to the server you won't actually connect right into the map even though uh, c4s will say for example it's on back lot right now but what's going to happen the first time is that you're going to load into a team deathmatch on shipment and the game will automatically back you out to the main menu it'll give you a prompt saying do you want to download the latest cod 4x patch and click yes click yes accept or whatever the yes option is do keep in mind that it is very normal for your game to crash a time or two because what's going to happen is once you click yes for accepting it the game's going to tab itself out close and then you should have a little pop-up menu right here that says it should be a little blue box where it's just uh downloading the mod and then it'll come up with a little prompt saying the latest patch has been installed please restart your game and then you should be good to go as soon as you restart your game you should be on patch 19.1 you can go ahead and now join into c4s also instead of having to type in the ip every single time you want to join the server change the source over here to favorites click new favorite and then type in the ip of the server which here is the ip again for the sl click ok the server is already a favorite favorite server and you should be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and leave all the IPs for this down in the description below. Uh, also as well, this C4S server is an unlock all server. It looks like it's down right now, but this will occasionally come back up. So instead of joining into C4S being level one and having to, you know, obviously get through everything, you can just join into this server, let it run its course and you'll be level 55 with everything unlocked. Even though that isn't a requirement to join the SL server, I'm just throwing that out there for you guys in case you guys want to be level 55. So now with that all being said, you guys should be good to go. Everything should be working, but just in case you guys do have any more problems,
problems, feel free to go ahead and leave me a comment. But uh, also keep in mind as well, I will be leaving two Discord links down in the description below for the C4S Discord and the COD4SL Discord. So if for whatever reason I don't get back to you or you just need more help, feel free to go ahead and join those Discords and get some help from there. So uh, yeah, with that being said, that should be everything now. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I also really hope you guys enjoyed those clips at the start of the video. So the plan for today's video is that uh, if you guys couldn't already tell, I'm doing a full custom sniper clip cycle. I, I don't really know how to word it. You guys know what I'm talking about. I mean, basically what I'm trying to do is hit at least some sort of clip with every single sniper that's available here, or at least all the custom snipers. I've also brought up a list of all of the snipers that I either A, want to hit new clips for, or still haven't really hit clips for, for this video and or my Taj that I'm making on this server again. So the first sniper that I wanted to go ahead and jump in here with is the op, obviously from CSGO. And this actually works out quite well because not only do I want a better clip with this, but uh, this was going to be a bonus sniper if we got to it in the clip race, which uh, again, as you guys saw, the reason as to why we didn't get to it is because James and I were slacking big time. James and I could not get off that Springfield. It was horrible. I don't know what it is, but there's just something. I shot through something already. Okay, awesome. It just seems like there's this weird feeling using the World at War bolts on COD 4. I mean, like they're very fun snipers to use, obviously. Apparently, you're even able to stack with them without reload canceling and just using them in COD 4 felt so weird. And those snipers are going to be on the list today. But again, it works out perfectly with the op because both with the op and the MSR, I want to try to hit some more clips and or new clips with. So that's what we're going to be starting off with first. I'm recording my vid right now. Oh. Hello. I just put the co-host James on Twitch. I'm not going to tell him I'm putting that in the video. I don't mean to consistently bring this up, but it has been brought to my attention that you're able to stack everything on the server without reload canceling it. And I, I know I'm a snail sometimes, but it just really feels like with certain things you are just much better. Oh, okay. Never mind. I take back everything that I'm just saying. It still seems like, you know, with like the AWP and the L96 and stuff like that, it just feels better to reload cancel it. So again, the main goal of this, at least for the sake of this video, is to at least just hit, you know, some passable clip. And if I do manage to hit a better clip for my actual, uh, SL Taj, then, you know, all the better. So again, throughout the course of this video, there are numerous snipers that I do want to use, so if I just don't hit something with the AWP, I'll probably just come back to it, but regardless, throughout the course of this video, depending how it all goes, I will be changing snipers quite a bit. I'm not gonna, like, let myself just get stuck on one for a long time. All right, there we go. All singles with an op. Just as I was saying that, man, I was hoping that collab was going to line up for a 60. All right, nice. All singles 50. I will take that. So for right now, at least, we'll go ahead and count that as one of the bonus clips from the clip race. And now we're on to the MSR. I can't believe I didn't get a single lineup out of that. I, ah, oh. It feels so weird using the MSR and especially the Modern Warfare 2 intervention because I'm just so used to having Slide of Hand Pro, Quick Draw Pro and all that when using these. And then obviously here on COD 4, you know, we don't got that. So it's almost kind of like I'm marathon sniping with it. I mean, it makes it look a lot cleaner. It's just, I'm, I'm not used to it at all. I feel like a big part of the reason as to why I don't hit a lot of clips on this server, besides the obvious, is that I feel like I completely overcomplicate situations and uh, really just need to play the server as brainless as as possible and just run face first into people and eventually I'll get enough kills to stack. I should apply that same logic to playing Call of Duty in general. Alright, the MSR was starting to irritate me so I'm onto the Locust. I think I've only hit a triple with this. Like, I don't even think I have a Taj clip with it. I mean, I'm not trying to hit like a Taj worthy clip with every single sniper on this server. I mean, I'm sure a majority of you guys could probably do it, but me, I, l listen, I don't need to say it. I mean, last year I think I hit this uh, Reload Cancel 60 with it on Castle, but this year I don't recall hitting anything with it other than like maybe a triple. That was actually kind of a clean triple. You know what? I'll take that. Even though I was literally just saying the only thing I've hit with this thing is a triple and I want something better. Like maybe a quad? Or actually another triple right there would have been nice. It was kind of a weird spot too. Like I usually never go inside this little like poolside bar. You're kidding. You're kidding. That could have been so much more, dude. Ugh. Now, and before I get asked, the reason why I didn't kill the guy on the staircase is because I didn't want to be that buzzkill. I didn't want to be that guy, but uh, I feel like sometimes I'm just too nice. I mean, like, there, there's so many times where I'll run by people in hopes that, you know, they'll let me live, but uh, they usually never do. I've talked about this so much on my live stream, and it happens all the time. Me and somebody else will be kind of like, you know, running around the outside, flanking a little bit, and of course, like, I'll run by, no intent to kill, and then I'll just end up getting shot in the back and get angry over it. It's just like, Mike, just, just shoot the guy. For right now, I'll settle for that. I'll move on to something else. The, the DSR. And we got Chateau. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the Fulbright so I can actually see what's going on. 
You're kidding. Dude, you're kidding! I don't know about you guys, but that looked like uh, I was about to hit more than just a collat right there. And that's another thing, man. Like, this server, I don't know what it's been about this year, but like, every collateral lineup I get, at least the majority of them, I'm shooting directly through quads and five and ones, and I'm only hitting just collats and triples. It's kind of annoying. Please, con gods, just bless me every once in a while, man. I mean, DSR Reload canceled 50, but that could have been so much better, man. Please, just let me hit something. Oh, no. Oh, if I waited maybe a split second to hit that back-to-back -back 50, that would have been... Hold on. No. No, I'm out of ammo. No, 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 no. Please don't turn around, guys. The game just lagged, bro. Uh, this server, man. Please, praying on my downfall out here. Just confiscate my feeding license. I, I I don't deserve it after that. I didn't shoot. I'm oh, of course I hit the no scope after it. I I didn't shoot. After all my years of training for L96 multis, you think I would have this reload canceling thing down, right? <laughs> I mean, for now though, I'll go ahead and take that 50. I want something better in the future though, but I'm gonna regret this. I'm I'm just gonna try the car, man. Whatever. See, here's the thing with the car though. I mean, like reload canceling is obviously very possible with it. It's just really really weird, and there's really no sense in trying to uh, hit a stack without reload canceling it, just because it's just I don't know the exact timing of it. I think uh, Marshall was telling me about it. It's like you got like two tenths of a second or just you know something completely psychotic to where it's just borderline impossible to do it so there's like no point in even really trying i mean i could be completely wrong feel free to go ahead and call me a snail in the comment section but it's just it's it's really just not worth it not worth stressing myself out over like not reload up oh. It's not worth stressing myself out over. I'm just, uh, we'll see what happens. Of course, the moment I go to talk about it is, you know, the moment I stack with it. I mean, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't even really think I've seen any World of War clips with the bolts where people are hitting, uh, stacks without reload canceling them. <clears throat> yeah, now we're on Harbor, and this is one of those maps where you don't need deep impact, you can just wall bang the entire thing. I mean, I love Harbor just as much as the next guy, but, uh, playing this on the SL gets very annoying. Ah, uh, damn. If only I could have kept that stack going. Oh, that pickup. I mean, that 40 was kind of nice. I'm choking now. Oh, my God. I'm so over this map. I am so over this, dude. Please, no, oh, dude. Oh, that 360 triple would have been so clean, man. I can't believe I just choked that. I No, just literally confiscate my feeding license. I don't want to use this sniper anymore. I'm done. Moving on. Okay. Uh, Intervention. That 70 was fucked. I, I don't know if Reese is talking to me, but yeah, I mean, that 70 would have been fucked if I wasn't horrible. I mean, where did that shot even go? I'm going to start crying in a minute, dude. Like, I, I just... For one day in my life, man, just one day, can I just be good at COD and hit clips? Oh, <laughs> no, that would have been so nice. I mean, what was that? Like a three gun 40, two gun 40? I think it went inner, springy, inner. I, I don't know, dude. Both of those are going to live rent free in my head for the night. Oh, no. And please, no, not harbor again. I beg. 20 minutes later. I'm done for now. I, I don't want to play anymore. Let me slide off this and triple. Thank you. I'm I'm done using this. I don't care anymore. Okay, we're done with. Oh! Oh! That was what a 1440. Let's go. Quad with the Arasaka, boys, let's go. Because otherwise it's putting more stress on your graphics card when you're already trying to stream and play Warzone, so. That was actually a clean 50. I'll take that. Have I hit anything in the SL today? Yes, sir. I had a very nice S-Tac plus 70 earlier. 
And I choked a really clean quad head with a locust, which I don't want to talk about. Oh, well, there you go. There's uh, another pickup clip. That was fucked! Woo! STAC 70, I'm sorry for that long demo, but alright, boys, I think I've hit all the clips that I really wanted to now. Alright, so that's gonna go ahead and wrap up the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. One thing that I wanted to mention earlier is that as we're getting towards the end of January and going into February, this server doesn't really stay that populated all that often past the month of December. So I really don't know how much more often this server is going to get populated. I'm just assuming, you know, with the world going through what it's going through right now, we'll probably still keep it pretty active, but I don't know. So in the near future, though, if you guys want to see some more COD 4 SL videos like this or have any other sorts of recommendations like that, go ahead and let me know those down in the comment section below. Also, feel free to go ahead and join my Discord that's linked down in the description below. Below, so you guys never miss pings on when I post new videos here on YouTube as well as when I go live on Twitch Once again, I really hope you all enjoyed the video leave a like if you guys did subscribe if you're new It's been soul rage and I will talk to you guys later. Take care everybody